Uh, everything to do with the, the true software suite of apps is permission based. Um, we never share anyone's contact information without explicit permission mm -hmm. from the owner of that phone number. Um, so uh, when, when someone downloads the apps, they can see exactly the permissions that we request of them before they continue installing it. And for numbers in our database, they actually come in um, private by default. And it's only if somebody actively decides to make it public that it becomes public. Mm -hmm. In all other cases, uh, the numbers are available by request. So if you wanted my number, you would find Hussein, and you can request my contact details. Then I have the option of whether or not I want to share my phone number with you. All right. That makes it easier. But um, looking at the African market today, you know, there's huge mobile penetration, just like I mentioned at the start of this conversation. Um, what do you see, say, in the next few years? Because uh, Africa seems to be the one-stop shop for mobile phones or handsets and whatever. But are there specific applications that you are developing for the growing African market, or you're basically looking at it as a global uh, platform application? Yeah. Well, our apps are available globally. Um, we, we, we actually make an effort to make sure our apps are very accessible. So mm -hmm. firstly, our app is available in over 40 languages, uh, including English, French, Arabic, and Swahili, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the popular languages of, of, of Africa. And um, we're, we're actually constantly adding new languages. Um, going forward, we actually take a lot of feedback from our users. So the majority of people who work at Truecaller, uh, about two-thirds of the team, are in product and engineering. And we look every day at every review we get on the App Store, at every comment we get on our Facebook and Twitter accounts. And that's actually where the new ideas come from. In fact, True Messenger came from, 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 uh, from feedback we had been getting from our users here in Africa mm -hmm. that uh, they love Truecaller and they wanted to see us bring that functionality to the SMX experience. All right. And how is it doing with uh, True Messenger? Wonderfully. We, we only launched it recently. We launched it in August. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're seeing more traction than you know, we had seen when we initially launched Truecaller. You know, of course, that's because you know, it's been five years and mobile penetration has increased a lot since. Uh, but I think it's also because people are very familiar with the benefits of True Caller, um, and so for True Messenger, people understand exactly what they're getting. All right. Uh, going forward, what other growth prospects are you looking at? Yeah. Well, um, part of my trip here in Kenya is to familiarize myself with the market, but mm -hmm. also to explore potential partnership opportunities. Uh, for example, with, with OEMs and carriers, mm -hmm. for ways that we can uh, improve our service and, and add new features. Mm -hmm. All right. And exploring opportunities, what, what specific um, partnerships are you looking to having? Are you looking to having them with, uh, say, app developers, or are you looking to have them with already existent uh, mobile operators? We're willing to work with anybody who can help us improve our apps or bring new functionality that our users want. Mm -hmm. uh, in other markets, for example, we, we've partnered with uh, uh, OEMs like Lenovo and Infinix, uh, to, to, to um, integrate our software directly into the device itself and provide for a seamless integrated operating experience. Mm -hmm. um, here in Kenya, I, the, the first thing I want to do is just really understand Kenya. You know? um, and uh, once I do, I, I hope to sit down with people who use Truecaller and who use our other apps and, and really understand from them what it is that they want to see. Um, and you know, we'll, we'll direct our partnerships accordingly. All right. Uh, well, now it just appears that Truecaller right now is enjoying, uh, you know, the monopoly of being the only application where people can be able to identify who is calling them, who they're calling, and also, you know, have Messenger as well. But a market like Kenya, some, some people think that this is a very peculiar market. Um, do you seem to see the same in any other part of Africa? Uh, the same in what way? Um, that when they're used to a certain product, it's very difficult for them to adopt something oh, else. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing about Truecaller is we don't have any serious competition. We, we have seen some recent entrants mm -hmm. into the space, mm -hmm. um, which is great because it means that this problem that we've been working over the last five years to solve is a meaningful problem worth tackling. Um, and, uh, you know, specific to, to Kenya, you know, the app has grown a lot faster than it has in a lot of the other sub-Saharan African markets. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think, though, the main reason for that is just that you know the mobile penetration is, is, is very high here. Um, you know, comparing the prices here for for for, for data plans and stuff, it, it's actually much more accessible here than in other markets. Mm -hmm. um, and, and 
that spam is a big problem spam is a big problem what 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 is the nigerian market like for instance and uh, maybe north africa you know seeing that sub saharan africa seems to be looking up when it comes to uh, downloads for uh, the true caller application one would wonder how is south africa doing how is nigeria doing and the northern part of africa absolutely so yeah. um, within africa egypt is our biggest market we have over 16 million users there mm -hmm. and it, it, it is a big country um, but um, Kenya is our next biggest market. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of traction, that's true, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. in South Africa, mm -hmm. in Morocco. But again, within Sub-Saharan Africa, Kenya is our biggest market. Um, it's, it's the first market here in Sub-Saharan Africa that I'm visiting mm -hmm. uh, and where I expect a lot of my focus to be because you know, what I see is that you know, looking at the mobile operators, a, a lot of the innovation that they've come up with here in Kenya later uh, you know, w went into other markets. So mm -hmm. this seems to be um, an, an early adopter market and um, that makes it very exciting for us. All right. Well, thank you so much, Hussein, for joining us on Business Today. Hussein Mishergi is the Vice President Growth and Partnerships at Truecola. And like you mentioned, there are over 200 million downloads of the Truecola application and I don't know what you use it for. <laughs> But I hope you're using it responsibly. You're watching Business Today and we'll now take a short break, but more news coming up. Don't go away.